What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Molt Man episode. It is a beautiful warm Texas day. My gate didn't shut when I came through. I don't know why it didn't shut. Got a cool video for you guys today. I am super pumped about this. I've been uh, trying to convince my sister to sell me this thing for quite some time now. So it is right behind my truck, but I wanna give you a little overview of why I'm doing this and what I got it for. So yes, as you can see in the title, I got a new hunting slash overlanding rig um, that I have to build. I have to build everything. It's basically 100% stock. It is 100% stock. So um, I got it to one, keep off miles from my truck, which me and my dad talked about is really not that big of a deal. Um, and gas mileage, not that big of a deal because what I got doesn't get very good gas mileage either. Um, so those two things are kind of not really good excuses to get what I got, but um, the main thing is sleeping overlanding and not tearing my truck up going on all these trails that I go on when I go out of state to hunt and the stuff that I go on here in Texas. So the big reveal of what this new vehicle is, I looked, I looked and looked and looked and uh, I looked for Tacomas, I looked for Forerunners, I looked for Land Cruisers, and I finally settled on this beautiful 1998 Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series. Um, the coolest part about this is my mom bought this car, brand new in 98. And uh, I'll get into the I'll get into the car here in a minute, but let me get out of the wind for you guys so you can hear. So my mom bought it brand new in 98 and uh, she used it until she got a new car and then it was handed down to my sister. So my sister, this was her high school dream car. This is what she drove throughout high school and college. And then she got a new car. So this thing basically has been sitting since my sister got out of college. Uh, quite some time ago so it's been sitting in the sun baking um, and actually and actually the motor went to junk on us so uh, my parents replaced the motor uh, they found a new Land Cruiser motor V8 uh, and it only had like 50,000 miles on it so the car itself has 217,000 miles on it but the new motor in it only has 50,000 miles so uh, there is a lot of upgrades that we need to do and I need your guys' help. Uh, I have already done two things. Um, we ordered a ARB bumper, which if y'all think I should get something different, I can order something different. Or if there's any companies out there that are landing advice, uh, y'all shoot me a DM, email me at stlknoutdoors at gmail.com or leave a comment in this video description of what y'all think I should do with this bad boy. So I did just call the tire shop. I got some new uh, all-terrain 33 inch tires. We obviously need to put some wheels on it, uh, 16 inch wheels. I don't want to do big wheels. And we really need to clean this guy up. So I'm gonna take it here to the car wash in a minute. Those are sunflower seeds. I guarantee you those have been there for a long time. But I also went to AutoZone this morning. Uh, I ordered an, a new alternator yesterday and a serpentine belt. Needed to replace the serpentine belt and it needs a brand new alternator because it's not working. So I got that and this belt. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the car because I'm taking it to the mechanic uh, down the road this afternoon. Hopefully he can get it done today or tomorrow because, oh, that door's locked. I am trying to take this on my trip to Arizona in a couple of days. So we, so if you didn't know, I'm going to Arizona with the bins and we're doing the over the counter. Well, hopefully that didn't just break that alternator. We are doing the over the counter mule deer hunt in AZ. So. Let's do a little walk around of the car and uh, let me show you guys around. Definitely gotta get some seat covers for it, but 
stock 1998 Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, Got to get some new headlights. This one's broken out, but I want to get some new ones anyway. They're actually not that foggy. They're not foggy at all. So maybe I don't need to replace those. Definitely need to get a shield for this one though. Um, the hood, like I said, we got to go clean it up. And then we may actually put a coating on it, like a uh, ceramic coating on it. So it saves the paint. Um, got to get new windshield wipers because these are trashed and so as far as the outside goes there's really no no dings in it at all it the body on it is basically perfect and there's one little dent right there um but there's no big scratches or anything this the pinstriping has faded off um which is fine with me hopefully that'll just buff out when we do the uh, paint correction on it but let's get into the inside i'll jump it off here in a minute because obviously the alternator is not working um interior is pretty good the seats are terrible not awful but they are bad definitely cracking but i'm gonna get some good seat covers i called my boy jared outlaw earlier and because uh, i love the seat covers that he had in his dually uh, so i'm gonna order some of those i think they're called king covers um, so I'm gonna get some of those, but I'm gonna need a steering wheel cover too because this is all just like crumbling off. Um, so the thing that I love about this, got a sunroof too, uh, is the space. And why I chose the Land Cruiser is this right here. Pop the back open. I can sleep right here. So I may have to take that side of those seats out and leave that one up. Um, and I can put my canvas cutter bed roll straight right here. And I can literally sleep in the back of this Land Cruiser. I don't have to pay for hotels anymore. I don't have to set up a tent. I feel safe, warm, and comfortable inside the car. Get out of here, stupid plane. Hey, I have an airport like directly on the other side of my house like 15 miles from here and they go straight over my house so annoying but that is one of the huge reasons um, that i wanted the land cruiser other than that is just keeping it in the family and uh basically restoring it not that we have to restore it because it's it's in really good condition i mean it looks dirty right now because there's stuff all in here but well, i'm gonna have to clean that out now stuff has just been sitting in here but i mean look at the carpet it's all everything is pretty much clean uh i'm gonna take it to the car wash obviously and clean it but and it also has another row of seats that go in the back uh and they're right here so i'm gonna take these out i don't know what that is some kind of oh i think it's like a slide out cover that goes over the back but i mean the back of the seats are all in good condition the carpet's in good condition should probably get some WeatherTech mats for this bad boy. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, y'all just leave it in the comments what y'all think I should do. Should I get a roof rack? Uh, definitely do a front bumper with a winch. Bigger tires, meatier tires. I got all terrains. I just got some cheap tires. They're called Venom. Um, Venom All Terrains 33. I think they're 285, 75, 16R. Um, and right now it has r16 and right now it has 275 70 r16 so um i got the 285s i don't know if i said 75s or not so you can see it's just been sitting around there's leaves on i'm gonna clean that out so it doesn't fall all in here but uh let's take it to the car wash wash it up see what it looks like i gotta jump it off first so let's go clean it up and then come back and while we're doing that y'all start riding stuff in the comments what you'd like to see on this Land Cruiser to make it amazing. Finally got her going. It's got some bad gas in it or something. We gotta get this taken care of. Hey 
can hardly see through this windshield, it's so dirty. But we are headed to the car wash. And uh, we're gonna clean this guy up. All right, guys, we got her all washed up. We are actually going to the mechanics right now because uh, he has time to get me in. So uh, we're getting the serpentine belt and the alternator changed over. It's not far from my house. So we're gonna go drop it off and then I'll see you guys back at the house. I'm gonna start getting my stuff ready for Arizona. Shoot my bow a little bit. Hopefully get my uh, sleeping situation arranged so I can sleep in this bad boy uh, when we get to AZ. Hey Bubba. There she is, all cleaned up. We're thinking that it's not the alternator, so hopefully something a little less serious. So that's a good thing. Alright guys, gonna shoot the bow a few times. I like to shoot every day leading up to a trip after I get it dialed in. I like to shoot every day a couple times with the broadhead. Uh, just to make sure I'm still on. We're at 25 yards here. So we got a problem. I don't have my release. 25 yards. Dial it down. 25. Iron wheel broadheads. I think it's the only way to go. So shoot this a couple times and uh, make sure we're still dialed in. little bit low a little bit better well guys it is the next day I waited because uh, I thought I was gonna hear from the mechanic to see if we could get the Land Cruiser back over here uh, I thought it was going to be done and then I was going to go put the tires on and show you guys all that stuff. But unfortunately he called me and said uh, they are not finished with it. So he's going to call me after lunch and see where they're at at that point. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited about this build. Uh, y'all leave it in the comments if y'all want to see uh, more videos on the Land Cruiser build. And if y'all want to see some like overlanding videos I can do this summer. Um, I'm thinking about going to the mountains, fly fishing and overlanding and staying in the Land Cruiser for a couple days at a time and doing some fly fishing. Maybe some turkey hunting too. So before I go, uh, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you guys know about Moltman Uncut. Y'all can go over there. We have, uh, we have exclusive videos over there, uh, some awesome content that will never be shown on YouTube. So, so if y'all are interested in seeing those kind of videos and um, all the stuff that goes along with hunting like gutting and skinning and all the stuff that I can't show on YouTube, click the link down in the description. It is called Moltman Uncut and uh, you can go subscribe over there and get a bunch of exclusive content as well as we're doing uh, weekly giveaways. So we also have a chat going so uh, if you want to talk to me or ask me questions, uh, we can do that over there. And I'm about to do a Q&A video that will be exclusive on Moltman Uncut. So. Um, if you go over there and write a comment or ask me a question, answer those questions in the Q&A uh, and that should be up next week. So down there, check out Moat Man Uncut and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and remember, eat good.